you know what, I freaking love ribs. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, where today we're going to be making ribs, of course, but this is not going to be a rib making video, but I'm going to show you how you can add a lot of extra flavor to your ribs besides the rubs and the sauce that you put on there. Adding a little bit of extra flavor is just going to give your ribs a little kick and it's going to be well worth it. A lot of people make special glazes and all that fancy stuff. Well, we're here to make it all simple. We do things simple. And I'm going to show you how you can add extraordinary flavor to your ribs without doing all the fancy stuff. All right, I've got three racks of ribs. I have three different whiskeys. As you could tell by the thumbnail, we're doing whiskey ribs. I guess this could be a rib video because you will learn how to make some very juicy, delicious tender ribs. I've already removed the membrane and I've seasoned the ribs. I'll spare you all that detail. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado. It's 35 degrees, the sun is out. We had a bit of snow, but this warm Colorado sun melts everything really quick. It is a gorgeous day out here. All right, let's get to getting these ribs cooked. All right, I'm gonna get the Z-Grills up to 225. We're gonna put these ribs on and we're not gonna do a, a darn thing to them for three hours. I may spritz them once. But let's get the Z grills up the temp, 225 for three hours on these ribs. All right, everybody, let's get these ribs on. One little tip here, you do want to push them together because how you lay them on the, the smoker is how they're going to cook. So you want to get them pretty tight if you want. Leave a little bit of space between them. Let that smoke get all around. Okay, there you have it. I'm gonna let them sit at 225 for three hours. I may spritz halfway through. If I do, I'll bring you back. If not, I will see you back in three hours when it's time to wrap. Okay, I've taken the ribs off. We're gonna do this like we do ribs any other time. I'm gonna show you one of them. I don't need to show you all three, but I'm going to show you what to do here. First of all, we're going to take some brown sugar. Get that all spread out. And we're going to take some pads of butter. And then we're going to add some honey. And then I'm going to add some of my homemade barbecue sauce. And then we're going to add the ribs, meat side down. Okay, then we're going to add some more brown sugar. We're going to add some more honey. I'm 
gonna add a little bit more of my homemade barbecue sauce. Okay, now we're going to start wrapping this up. Try to get these edges up here a little bit because we have to pour in the whiskey. And for the first one, we're going to start with Fireball. Okay, now we're going to get it wrapped up. Always wrap it twice. Okay, I'm going to get the other two flavors done and we'll get these ribs back on the grill. I turned it up to 250 degrees and we'll let it go for another three hours and then we're going to cook to tenderness and by the end of three hours I'll about guarantee you these things are going to be so flipping tender. All right let me get the other two done and I'll be back later. Okay, we got them on here. We'll let these rock and roll at 250 degrees for another three hours. And then we'll check them for tenderness. And I'm sure they're gonna be very tender. All right, nothing else left to do, but wait out the three hours. And I'll bring it back later. Okay, I got these ribs off the grill. Let's give them a taste test. First off, what we did is we did seasoning only, unwrapped for three hours at 225. Then we covered them up, 250 for three hours. Then I unwrapped them, which you did not see on camera, laid them back on the grill, unwrapped. And I spread a little bit of barbecue sauce over the top of them and let them cook out in the open like that for about 20 minutes and then took them off and this is what we got and this one's the fireball one let's give it a taste you can definitely taste barbecue ribs but there's something there on the back end 
and that's that fireball. It's not overwhelming by any means. It just gives you that little bit of hint of something else there. Great flavor. All right, the next one is the mango habanero. Definitely a different taste. You can definitely taste the mango and, and a little bit of the habanero kick on the end. Very good. And the last one is the Texas Mesquite Whiskey. All those flavors are good, and all those flavors give your ribs that extra kick that you need. I had the YouTube channel, The Real Sovereign Citizens over here. He had some ribs. His favorite was the Fireball, and my girlfriend's favorite of the ribs was the Mango Habanero. I think they're all good because you know what? I freaking love ribs. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as I always say... If I can cook it, you can cook it. Take care, everybody. Catch you on the next one.